Hello. It's Monday, July 26, 2021. Uh, I'm in uh, China's Dongbei, or northeast, in Heilongjiang province. Out for a little stroll. I was watching a video there yesterday, a guy compla uh, comparing mainland China to the province of Taiwan. And I've lived in both places, so I could easily, uh, I could easily compare. You know, as it was for the safety issue. Yeah, I always felt pretty safe in Taiwan. Can't say that I uh, didn't feel safe at any time. But I'm a fairly big white guy. So we tend to not get attacked that often. It's kind of what we got going for us. Being male, speaking English. So, uh, yeah. That's the safety issue. As the copying issue, I found copying uh, to be rampant in Taiwan. I mean, it's, you know, same it is, as it is here. You can buy fake Nikes, you can buy, you know, fake anything. I'm sure that uh, fake alcohol is also available if you don't want to pay the price for real alcohol. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was working in Taiwan at a factory where we did die casting. And uh, we sometimes joked about uh, that we were doing we were doing casting for companies that uh, provided the molds uh, that were exact copies of companies like Husqvarna, you know, um, big chainsaws and stuff like that. We were making the casings for them, and we were often joking that they copied it so well they even copied the cracks in the mold. So very interesting, but I found. Uh, both places be kind of similar. Now, as far as uh, the um, last point that he was making there about uh, Taiwan being more developed, uh, that one I would say is definitely not true. Not all areas of China, of mainland China, are you know well developed, and there's reasons for that. I'm going to go into one right now, but uh, there's areas here in mainland China that are more developed probably than anywhere in the world. And I can say that with some pretty good confidence. I've been to many countries and I've never seen anything like some of the areas that uh, are here in mainland China. But uh, yeah, let me just go into that subject a little bit more. Hang on a second. Okay, before I get into this subject of um, developed, developed area, let me just say right now I'm in a town. Oh, it's like, 36 degrees. It's hotter here than it is actually in Shenzhen during the day. At night it gets cool, but uh, during the day it's, it's I think it's 36 Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but uh, uh, it's friggin' hot. But anyway, let me get into the subject of uh, developed area or area that is an area that isn't developed and the reasons why. You know, I'm in this uh, village I'm in a little village right now that, uh, I don't know, has a hundred homes maybe here. It's, uh, I can say miles or kilometers from uh, the nearest civilization. There is, uh, in amongst these hundred homes, I'd say this one here is one of the smaller ones. That looks like about five, meet five meters by three meters. Somebody's living there. They're obviously uh, living off the land as much as possible as well. Using every inch of their property. And uh, actually you can drive by a lot of these little villages on the way to get to where I am right now. And you'll see that actually the majority of them are closed up. They're not closed up, but the homes are empty and everybody has been moved into, you know, a cement block building high-rises, those types of things. And the same kind of thing is going on here, but not as quickly. As I can see, a lot of these homes haven't been, at <clears throat> excuse me, haven't been attended to in some time, although it looks like they come out and uh, work the land. But I can see inside this home here, there's, there's no furniture, there's no nothing in there. And there's quite a few of those homes that are here in this area that maybe the people will couldn't take care of themselves anymore 
went to live with their children and those kind of things but yeah this is uh like the old style old style living and uh does that necessarily mean they're poor no not really so some people might just go by a village like this and think uh wow those are poor people and it's not necessarily true and uh let me just give you an example here here's a home okay they got a garage and a car a couple of cars in there but this is their washroom right here you're looking at their outdoor washroom that is true those things do get used but uh I happen to know these are not poor people, actually. And I happen to know that uh, these people, as far as your mod cons, this home has no mod cons. No mod cons. Modern conveniences. That's what the uh, case. Anybody was watching the video from yesterday and was wondering what mod cons are modern conveniences but I happen to know these people and I happen to know that they actually have two homes I'm not going to go into the washroom but uh, that is the washroom they do have running water here but uh, not a lot else I uh, am going to show you a couple of the aspects of the home but as you can see their entire yard is for uh, growing food their other, their other home that, that does have all the modern conveniences, they don't live there. And maybe you couldn't make them. But it's an older couple. Let me just show you around here a little bit. Here's the owner, owner of the house. See that uh, satellite dish there? It's covering their storage so they can store all this food that they're preparing. In the summertime, it's so hot inside that they do a lot of their cooking right here. A lot of the cooking gets done here. As you can see, she has a pretty green thumb older and taking care of herself has two homes one with uh, all the all the uh, mod cons you can imagine and uh, she and her husband prefer to live here go figure this is the stove for cooking mostly in the winter it's heated by Whatever you throw in there to burn. It also has um, piping running from the stove all underneath the floors here. And that heats the house. They do have a room here with a bed in it. It's the other owner. Have a room with the bed. Uh, that's mainly for guests or maybe afternoons they'll sleep there, take a nap. They prefer to sleep over here on this floor. So what one person calls poor, it's not the same for everyone. This is the way they prefer. Even if you could get them to go to the uh, other home with all the mod cons, they probably wouldn't use them. <laughs> and they probably wouldn't be happy because this is what they, see all this stuff in front of you here. That's what they do. They're happy doing that. You know, at some age, maybe people get to a certain age that they uh, you can't change them, or maybe you can, but because uh, like, they do have cell phones, both the husband and wife have cell phones. 
So that's a mod con they would they did accept, but that's uh mainly because uh you know talking to family members they don't have to use uh Facebook or FaceTime. They got WeChat that covers all those things easily and then some. We pay everything with WeChat. We uh our health code, our travel code comes up through WeChat. Don't need Facebook, FaceTime. And for, as far as you know who would go on the stupid site Billy Billy. Uh, people that speak, read, and write Chinese do that. Because they don't need the uh, YouTube. There's a 13 year old boy here in the house who doesn't even know what YouTube is. Is that a bad thing? So, but yeah, China does have uh, competitive websites for all, everything you can imagine. And even Microsoft Bing, um, okay, it's not the best search engine, but it's a pretty good one. I use it when I'm not on a VPN. And uh, I think there was another subject that he brought up. What was it? That uh, VPNs are illegal. Well, if that were true, uh, he also mentioned in the video yesterday that there are times, and I, I will agree with that, that there are days, it hasn't happened in a couple of years now, but there are days where um, the VPNs get shut down. And uh, knowing that, doesn't that indicate that if they, if they really wanted to, the Chinese government could shut down VPNs in a flick of a switch? So, I think that's kind of nonsense. I mean, I don't. I haven't read any law that says it's illegal. And I know tons of Chinese that have VPNs. I have a VPN, have had for years. And there is also uh, some websites that every government, every government blocks some websites. Just think of TikTok in the U.S. They, they think, you know, the government, without asking you, decides that something you shouldn't be able to see, and then they just block it. This rustic type of living is uh, some people's choice. So, I mean, he did say yesterday it was just his opinion. So I can certainly accept that. But uh, today, this is an opinion. This is, this is fact. These people have two homes, one with all the mod cons, and they have this home. Very small, rustic, almost camping type living, you know? But they prefer it, so. To each their own. You know, I don't know why people can't just uh, accept uh, mainland China and let it just be itself. Everyone's different. This home here is pretty good proof, or this village. I don't know that everybody here has two homes. Obviously, I don't know that, but I know these people do. I know they have the mod cons, and I know that even if they were in that building, they wouldn't use the majority of the mod cons. Instead of uh, using the air conditioner, they'll open the window. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, sorry I rambled on so long. I'll see you next time.